Hello and welcome to True Talk Chelsea. This is the number one podcast for all your Chelsea wants and needs. We hope you enjoy. That's right. Welcome back to True Talk Chelsea. Today I'm joined by Palash. So hello, Palash. Hello. Uh, unfortunately, Julia can't be with us today. But um, the topic of this video is actually our new signing, Eduard Mondi from Wren. A uh, good signing, I'd say, especially since the form Kep has been in. But um, today we're going to be going over his strengths, weaknesses, who the player is, what he's done previously. Um, before we get into this video, though, we'd like to uh, tell you guys to hit that like button, aiming 50 likes. And also, a large proportion of you guys are actually not subscribed. So if you could smash that subscribe button down below before we get into it, that would be perfect. Now we're going to get into the profile of Mendy, Plash. So, Edward Mendy, he is Senegalese, he's from Africa. One of his main benefits is his height, which is 197 centimeters, 6 feet 5 inches tall. His previous club was Ren, from which we have signed him for, I believe, 22 million pounds. He is right footed, he is 28 years old, and 86 kilograms weight. Oh, he's he's a real beast. He is, I think. Um, one of his strengths now, getting to his strengths, is uh, his shot stopping. Since the beginning of the 2018-19 campaign, only Lil goalkeeper Mike Mike Manion has kept more clean sheets than Mendy, who's got 23 in league. Um, of goalkeepers with at least 30 appearances in that time, only Walter Benitez, the Argentinian international has 77.2%, which is a better save success rate than Mendy with 73.5%. Um, so, he looks like he's a very established goalkeeper, I'd say. Um, a lot of you may not have heard of him, as I already said, but um, he's actually a great shot stopper. He's, like Palash said, six foot five, so an absolute beast in goal. But um could save shots outside the box, which is something... We haven't had previously with Kepa. Obviously, I don't want to be too harsh on him. But, um, yeah, Mendy looks like the perfect signing, especially 22 million. Uh, save percent last season was 78% uh, in his career, 76%. And another fun fact, uh, this is also on the topic of his shot stopping, is that he's just conceded 0.8 goals per 90 in the last season, which was the second lowest in the division. So, um, another strength, which I'd say, would be claiming crosses. Uh, Palash, would you like to elaborate? As we said, that Edward Mendy is six feet and five inches tall, massive height, and one of his main aspects and strengths is claiming crosses into the box. He has a 10.2% crosses claimed. That's actually a very high number because if you compare it with world-class keepers like Alisson and Edison, Alisson has got 8.2%, Edison has got 9.6% and as I just said, Mendy has got 10.2%. He is a very tall keeper who not only catches the ball but is also effective at punching the ball out uh, from out of the dangerous areas. So, that'll just be an asset to the side because uh, of we know that Kepa hadn't uh, caught a single ball off the corner last season. However, th- this won't be the case with our new signing, Edward Mendy. Yeah. Um, another thing which sort of almost continues from point one, but is just uh, comparing Mendy with, um, or as the French say, Mondi <laughs> with uh, Kepa would be that Mondi has a positive post-shot XG of plus 1.7 last season and plus 4.6 the season before that. Whereas Kepa has a horrendous not minus 9.6 post-shot XG last season, which suggests that he let in almost 10 more goals than he should have. Which um, is pretty poor. Obviously, we know Kepa hasn't been very good. And at the end of the day, any goalkeeper we really got uh, would most likely be an upgrade on him. But, um, yeah, he looks like he's a pretty big, pretty, really good signing. He is an amazing shortstopper, but no keeper comes without weaknesses. 
he has got his own weaknesses which is uh majorly the ball at his feet that is his distribution he is not exactly a ball playing goalkeeper i did see a video of him once not making a forward oh yeah uh, so that as well yeah, yeah. cheeky <laughs> but he's not exactly at good with the ball at his feet he just has got a 52% pass completion and he does not have a long ball accuracy a good long ball accuracy either yeah so but kepa wasn't that impressive with the ball at his feet either he made some mistakes i remember yeah. one last season versus everton away and now we just had one versus liverpool so i think he's slightly better than kepa with the ball at his feet but he's still not the ball at his feet is still not the best aspect of Mendy's game. Now, obviously, that um, could come and play. Obviously, he does need to get uh, a bit better in that aspect, but that will only come with time. That will only come with training, I guess. Training with one of the best goalkeepers to ever grace the pitch, Petr Cech. But, um, obviously, you do need that uh, passing and ball control as a keeper nowadays in the modern game, which you didn't need so much before. But um, I think he'll get on good. I, obviously, it's sort of low risk. Twenty million nowadays is not too expensive, especially considering we paid seventy-two million for um, Kepa. But um, yeah, I think honestly, it's a good deal. He's six foot five. You know, yeah. claim crosses, which is what we and struggled at. One hundred percent an upgrade in Kepa. Like, if you would give me a minute to compare yeah. the nineteen twenty seasons. Mendy has played slightly lesser than Kepa. He has conceded 27 goals. Kepa, 58. All competitions I'm talking about. Goals conceded per 90, 0.71. And goals conceded per 90 for Kepa is 1.39. I That seems a bit harsh on Kepa because those goal con- goals conceded is largely due to the poor defence as well. Yeah. But uh, even if we see the XG of Kepa, it's pretty poor. He should have done a lot better. Save percentage is where Kepa has been highly criticised, 54.5%. And if you see compare that with Edward Mendy, he's got an amazing save percent of 76.4%. Crosses stopped, as we discussed, 10.2% crosses stopped, which is 76 in case of Kepa. Pass completion, 52% for Edward Mendy, which is not that great, but it was just 42%. In case of Kepa. Yeah. So that's a big, big upgrade on previous keeper. Well, um, we're going to hope to see him play against West Brom maybe, but with all that being yeah, said, he's, he, well, he only have two training sessions by then, so okay. we're not too sure at time of recording this, but um hope he will, because otherwise I'd want to see Caballero in goal. So I think I saw something today and it said that... Um, Caballero, last game, made more saves than Kepa has in his last six matches, I think. <laughs> which yeah, is was amazing. Amazing yeah, versus Barnsley. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. I mean, obviously, it's just Barnsley, but at the end of the day, you've got to beat who's in front of you. You've got to, pour, pour, got to perform at any game, at any given time. Um, before we come like near to the end of the video, I've got a little fun fact here. Palash, would you like to read it out? Uh, you'd go ahead with that. I'll go ahead with it. Uh, Eduard Mondi and current Real Madrid left back uh, was Ferland Mendy. I thought to be cousins. Uh, the Los Blancos star is three years uh, older than Eduard Mondi, but um, they're actually thought to be in touch three years quite younger. A lot. I believe three years three younger. Year, three years younger. Sorry. Yeah, they're actually thought to be um, in contact with each other quite a lot. Obviously, Ferland Mendy. Uh, very good left back, I'd say. Playing uh, for Real Madrid, one of the best teams in the world. But um, yeah, it's a nice little fun fact. I did think, to be honest, that there was something there, either with Ferland Mendy or um, the Mendy at um, Man City. Uh, he's he's not that good. I don't rate him, to be honest. But <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much most of what there is to say on Mendy. He's not too well known. Hope will hope he performs. I don't think he can really do much worse than Kepa, to be honest. I think in no time we'll be seeing him as number one. But um without further ado, 
Before we end up uh, the podcast today, guys, we'd like to please ask you to hit that like button down below. Comment your thoughts on Eduard Mendy. Do you think it's a good signing? Do you think maybe we should have just kept Kepa and Caballero? Uh, let us down. Uh, let us know down below. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like I said earlier. Uh, if you're on Spotify, you don't get too many listeners on Spotify too many listeners on Spotify, but if you are, make sure to hit the follow button. Uh, Palash, would you like to say goodbye? Goodbye. Yes, that's right. Been me and Palash just talking to you uh, guys today about Eduard Mondi. And without further ado, we'll see you guys later. Bye.